Whether they're called boulderers, rock climbers, free soloers, or just plain crazies, they're the men and women who test themselves on Southern California's toughest rocks to climb, slap, stretch, swing, and fall. Some of the best rock climbers in America train and live in Santa Monica. Working out, they build the muscle strength needed to succeed and stay alive in this demanding sport. Dwight Brooks has climbed the Himalayas in Nepal. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to fall off. I don't want to kill myself. I don't have anything to prove. I, uh, I like being able to do it. If I'm able to solo a harder climb and without, without incurring any injury, I'll be happy. The team of Bob Gaines and Dave Katz have chartered new routes up Joshua Tree and Suicide Rocks. There is a degree of um, competition, mainly within yourself, that you want to keep up to. So once you've attained a certain degree of ability, you want to keep it there or you want to become better. Lynn Hill is one of the few women to have conquered El Capitan in Yosemite. You have to have every part of your body in synchronization with the other parts so that you can move fluidly up the rock. You just have to be in really good shape. And John Long was the first ever to climb Yosemite in a single day. There's a lurking doubt in the back of your mind a lot of times, but uh, if that's going to be in the forefront of your head, that's going to be right there with every move that you're doing, you have no business belonging you know, to be up there in the first place. They often come to Stony Point in Chatsworth to practice and climb the 400-foot peak. Here, at the base, they stretch and change into special climbing shoes that are snug-fitting with hard ridges for gripping crevices. Bags of chalk keep hands dry and grips secure. And they're ready for the rocks. Rock climbing is a different discipline from mountaineering. The object is not so much to conquer a peak, but to plot and master routes up huge boulders and difficult faces. What you're looking for when you're on a face is the quickest, the easiest, and the least strenuous sequence of moves that you can do. You have to mentally choreograph the moves in advance to their execution, so consequently you can, you can look up and say, well, I'm gonna use this hold here, and I'm gonna use this cross hold here, and you'll end up all, all entwined in your own limbs. A lot of times you're stuck. Sometimes, though, a cliff face may be too dangerous to assault without a rope, even for a climber as skilled as Dave Katz. Not using a rope would be very foolish. That sort of face tends to be loose and holds could break. Three years ago, Dave was the first to climb this 60-foot face. It was his honor to name it Face of Magnesia, after the carbonate of magnesia chalk he used to help his climb. The bolts he drove for his carabineers, the snap links that hold the rope, still mark his route. There's a hole on the end of this nail where you can clip what is called a carabiner, and it's a, a gate on a ring that opens one way, and you enable yourself to clip a rope into it. This type of climbing is called free climbing. The rope is only being used to break a fall, not to help the climb. Hey, this is weird. Whoa, boy! <laughs> But for top rock climbers, free soloing or climbing without a rope may be the ultimate thrill. Well, it's exciting, and it also feels really good to be able to be efficient and feel your body move gracefully on the rock and flowing movement and uh, not have to worry about the gear. 30 feet up, Lynn is perched on a ledge the size of a dime. How does she handle her fear of falling? It's only scary before you fall. After you fall, it's kind of a relief because you realize that it wasn't that bad. And I've fallen 40 feet and just hopped back up on the climb and completed it. What drives these people to risk their lives for a climb? It's just fun. Just in the same, probably the same as uh, sinking a 35-foot jump shot or sinking a long putt. Reaching the summit, they experience the exultation only climbers can know. 